Hey everybody, thanks for coming to Storytime with Andy. Today we have a really fun book. It's called Bats at the Beach. And it's all about bats going to the beach at night and enjoying the beach. And I'll tell you what, I live at the beach. I go to it a lot. I never thought about who comes there at night? What animals maybe have fun on the beach when we're all asleep? And so this was a really fun book for me to read. I'm hoping that it's also gonna be a good book for Asher and Olivia F. in North Carolina. I know you guys like to go to the beach and maybe you will think this is a fun book to read and think about the next time you're at the beach, okay? We're going to draw just like we do after every book, so make sure you've got a piece of paper and a marker or a crayon ready and you can draw along with us, okay? You guys ready for Bats at the Beach? All right. This is Bats at the Beach by Brian Lines. Sun slips down and all is still and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick! Call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, banjos, blankets, books, and towels strapped on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet where land and foamy ocean meet. At last, we hear the deep bass thump as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now, the shoreline spreads below. We pull wings in and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We wanna get going when fun's at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before nights through. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others must have left behind. Burying friends from chin to knee, we're scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep as old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wingboat races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's munch time, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats, beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs, crickets, moths, and pickled slugs, damselflies or salted skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Bug mellows toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. And later on, those stomachs hurt, we'll try the snack bar for dessert. Quick, don't miss it. The old bats are singing, the bat songs that they learned when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games. As embers pop within the flames, little ones climb onto leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purples, sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming bring our beach night to an end. So say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out, give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've got to be home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and teary. Daybirds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep. The moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bats at the beach. The end. Okay, I admit, I really love this book, Bats at the Beach. When you look really closely at the pictures, there's all sorts of really funny, like cool little things in there. Um, so like they're using a drink umbrella. Um, 
<laughs> while they're on the beach and their marshmallows have grasshopper legs in them. I just love it. So that's at the beach, fun to think about. And we're gonna draw this guy right here who's taken a dip in the water, okay? So get all of your drawing supplies ready in front of you and we will put him right about there so we can draw, okay? Can you see that? I don't know. <laughs> Get it together. All right, how about that? That's better. Okay, so first we're gonna draw the water, okay? So super simple, just kinda like, um, just waves down below. So get almost to the bottom of your paper, but not quite, and just kind of draw, you know, waves like this. There you go, easy. Okay, now we're going to start about the middle of our page, um, and we're gonna start with these big ears. Um, bats have great hearing, and so we will draw these ears right over here. So first we're gonna draw a U in the middle of our page, okay? Good job. All right, now we're gonna come down on this one like that, and this one like that, okay? Look, you got two ears already. You can kind of draw extra line right there and there to kind of show the inside of the ears. And now we're gonna draw his face coming down. So come back to the center of this U that you drew and make a little swoop in like that, okay? That's, his, that's the front of his face. You're gonna come in here and draw his mouth, all right? Look, easy, coming together already. They don't really have much of a nose, but you can kind of draw a little line there if you want. And then we're gonna draw a tiny little eye. Uh, we're gonna go like that. And they have really dark eyes, so you can't really see a lot of it. But there you go, there's an eye, okay. And believe it or not, they have whiskers. So right from his nose, you can kind of come out and just draw some really light whiskers if you want. Over there, some on that side, right? Kind of like a mouse with wings, right? So, okay, we're gonna come down here and do a little bit of fur, a little bit of fur up here and we're gonna start drawing these crazy wings. So first we're gonna come down and up like we're drawing an arm and we're gonna give that little finger claw right there, okay? And then you're gonna, oh, you know what? We can just draw that body, fill out the fur right there. That'll kinda help you. There you go. All right, now we're gonna come down here, make the elbow, come back up and stop. All right, you gotta follow along with me, okay? <laughs> We're gonna draw a line coming down and then swoop it over a little bit. Another line coming down, swoop it over a little bit. One coming down, whoops, my marker's drying out. Swoop it over and then another one over here, okay? So it looks like a bunch of lines and then come down here and you're gonna make a bunch of U's upside down to connect it. So there's the bottom of his wing, and then up here you can draw the top of his wing. And now you've got one bat wing, and we will draw the other one on this side, okay? So same deal. We're going to come out right below his mouth here, okay? And do a line out, and then up. Make that one long little claw there, and stop. And come right below it, Follow it up and stop, okay? Now we're gonna make all these crazy lines again. So line to over and then down. Line over and then down. Over, down, over, down. And then upside down you, just like that. And there are, whoops, one more line. Top of his wing, there we go. There is your bat coming out of the water. Um, and you can color it any color you want. The one, the bats in here are kind of like a brownish gray, kind of, you know, that kind of thing. And we will put the title on here, Bats at the Beach. You ready? B A T S, bats. 
T-H-E-A-T. Whoops, I <laughs> got ahead of myself. T-H-E. Bats at the B-E-A-C-H. Bats at the beach. Good job, everybody. All right, friends, that was the book and drawing for Bats at the Beach. I hope you enjoyed that. I love the illustrations in this book. I love seeing the bats on their little surfboards that they've made. I love thinking about them doing things that we would do, building sand castles and having campfires and eating snacks and feeding the seagulls and all of that. It's just so fun to think about. So I hope you enjoyed that book. And um, if you drew a bat today, I would love to see it. You can send it up on uh, Facebook or Instagram and that way I can see your great artwork from the day, okay? All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and stay well and keep reading.